I'm over here with Ken and Connie. I helped them repaint their walls and this turned out really nice. The, uh, the wall color before was an off-white. See how well that color pops along the door frame? Now you can see the door frames. What made you decide? Here's Connie. Hi, Connie. Hi. What made you decide that you wanted to paint this? It looked pretty good as it was before, kind of an off-white. I think I didn't like that stark white kind of hospital look. I wanted something warmer. I wanted uh -huh. something more welcoming. Well, this certainly does look a lot warmer. Thank you. It blends. It's, it's, a, it's a blends with the earth color. It changes depending on the light, the way the sun falls on it. Uh -huh. So you really feel like you have kind of multiple paint colors in here. Yeah. What, what made you uh, decide on this color? Well, it's the same color <laughs> I have in our house back in the mainland. Yeah. And uh, it took me about a month to actually come to this color. But I think um, after I finally settled and had many, many, many patches of different samples on the wall, uh -huh. this the one was the one that resonated. So I just wanted to copy it here. Yeah. I, I knew that it was going to be good. Now, have you done any painting before? Oh, gosh, no. No? No. no. Maybe on like a little 8x10. I, this, looks, this looks really good. The lines look nice and straight and tight up against the, the walls and the ceilings and the door frames. Ken, have you done any painting before? Yeah, I've done some before. And so I had some idea about uh, you know, making sure the cutting lines are nice and straight and yeah. ensuring the tape is laid down properly so you don't get bleeding underneath it. And uh, taking the time to wash the walls down and making sure the paint really adheres is also pretty important. Oh, that's a good point. I saw you cleaning the walls and these are smooth walls. No texture on it, so I, that's why I call it a smooth wall finish. And Ken, what did you use for the cleaner? We actually just used a household detergent of Ajax or Mr. Clean actually. Oh, Mr. Clean, and you just put some, you just mix it up with water. Mixed up with water, and uh, you know, made sure that it was actually quite dirty. So we, you know, frequently refresh the water. Uh huh. Uh, used a sponge, and then wipe it down with a dry cloth after to ensure that there was no no residue left behind. Right, and uh, that's always a good idea because if you got a lot of dust on the walls, now your paint's going to pick that up. You're not going to get as nice of a paint finish. I didn't want to do it, but I sure am glad we did. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take a shortcut? No. But now, Connie, Ken's talking about all this cut-in and the taping and stuff, but I saw you do a lot of that yourself. Oh, yeah. I didn't think I was going to be doing it. And before I knew it, 6 o'clock, I'm up in the morning, I'm uh, starting getting prepped for you to come over. So I really had never done this before. I had never cut in walls. I had never really put tape up. but. Um, there were some mistakes, but we spent the, the following day patching those up, uh -huh. kind of doing that little fine tuning. I think it looks pretty good, even though I didn't know what I was doing. I'm pretty happy with oh, it. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy with the results. It looks very professional. And, you know, we didn't just do this one room, did we? Oh, no. We didn't just do this one room. We did the whole condo. Yeah, there's two bedrooms to this condo. There's also two bathrooms that we did. And in the bathrooms, um, lots of work was done. We took the, uh, uh, the towel bars off, the, uh, all the light fixtures, all that kind of stuff. Ken was the nice person to do, do that. And, and, you know, I'm happy about all that stuff because all I had to do was roll it. You guys got <laughs> everything done for me. And... Um, uh, thank it, God you were here because it, if it we turned had out, to roll it, it probably it, wouldn't have been finished. It turned out really good. Now, why was it that you had, that you called me in the first place? Well, you know, it's uh, obviously nice to have somebody who's, um, who's done painting before. <clears throat> Rolling sounds simple, but it, there's a lot to it in terms of ensuring all the lines are done and finished nicely. Uh, the second thing was is that, you know, you were here locally and uh, an owner in the, in the condominium uh, association as well. And then the third one is, is that uh, we certainly needed, you know, somebody that we could felt we could trust. Somebody yeah. that was, uh, and that uh, had access to the right equipment and uh, was reasonably priced. Yeah, how about hey. that bid we got? Yeah, see, see, I didn't want you, uh, this wasn't about, 
you tooting my horn, so to speak. I was hoping you were going to say because you got some prices and they were really super expensive, and so you decided you you weren't going to do that. Exactly right. Yeah, we we got a our initial bid was for ten thousand dollars to paint the apartment. Holy was, mackerel! Uh, probably in my mind a factor of at least two and a half times higher than it needed to be. So. Yeah. And I think the whole project ended up costing us well under a thousand dollars. I was going to say probably for less than a thousand dollars, you did it yourself. And you did a lot of work yourself, even though maybe you guys didn't do, haven't done a whole lot of painting before, and it and it turns out really nice. So I would say, yeah, for less than a thousand dollars, you probably you saved a lot of money. So so, what's what sort of advice could you give somebody else if they'd never done any painting? Is this something that they should tackle on them or on themselves, or or could they maybe? find somebody, a handyman who could help them and then them offer to do lots of the help to save money? I'd do it just like we did it. I would recommend doing what we did. Um, I mean, so... Find somebody to come in to help you that has had experience with rolling. Uh, you know, just roll up your sleeves and get in there and yeah. just do it. And don't it's, the amount of time you think it's going to take. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> more time than you think because it always takes more than you think. But I think just, you know, getting up and having everything moved out Right. Everything off the walls made it yeah. more professional. I think it's, uh, as we were talking about before, it's all in the prep work. Yeah. The, the more prep work you do, do the better off the job's going right. to be. So I like the fact that we took everything off the walls and had everything ready. We didn't have to cut in around anything. We had some mini blinds here that, that even that was a good idea. We took those down, Ken. Yep. And um, just, just everything you think, oh, I can paint around that and I can do this and I can do that. But... You know, came yeah, all the all cover the plates came off and, and all that. Switches. Right. Yeah, it, it's, it's uh, way better to take the cover plates off and not paint around the, the, uh, the cover plates just for the fact that, you know, later on you take the cover plates off and it might disturb the paint that you cut in around there. Just, you know, spend some time and do it right. And, you know, you got pretty good with that cutting brush <laughs> for, for not doing it before. And granted, when, when you cut in at this line up here around the beam, see how nicely tight that is? And over here, it's all in how you go about prepping that. And we decided, and, and Connie and Ken decided to get some blue tape and taped it off. So your lines are going to be as, as good as you can put the tape on straight. If you don't put the tape on straight, you're going to see some little marks. When you pull down... The masking tape, you can get back up there with a little paintbrush and touch it up and make it look a little bit better. Spend a little extra time and make it look like a pro because I think that's what you did for a we while, did. wasn't it? We did. And actually, when everything was finished, we spent the whole next day just giving it one final eye. And whenever yeah. we saw something that was just a little bit off, we decided we wanted to put the time into having that yeah. fixed. So this paint color, there was some work to do with this because we didn't just put one coat of paint on did we no we match it when you do a color as and this isn't really that dark but but when you put any color on it if you got off-white walls you're gonna have to put two coats of paint on there right and so that's what we ended up doing and it gives you a, a full body paint look right all right so what about the fun part the fun part I'll we'll get to that in a minute 